Jane from Crete. Um, this is my blog, audio blog number two, and uh, I'm just reporting from Vrahasi, letting you know what's going on uh, in and around Vrahasi. Well, I can tell you that um, not a lot's gone on in and around Vrahasi today. Um, yesterday it thundered and lightened, it threw it down, and I guess that's really very good for all the people here because the, the ground is very dry, they've had a very long summer, and uh, no water for the olives. So now, hopefully, um, the next few days will be a bit rainy and uh, everybody will be a bit happier because of the rain. I have to say, though, there are no olives on the trees this year. Um, we've, we've been in and around the, the little um, olive groves and there are no olive olives on the trees. It's a very, very bad year uh, for the crop. Now, some people will think that's good, like myself, because um, if there's no olives, you don't have to go out there in the, uh, in the cold and the wild and beat them off the trees. Um, but on the other hand, uh, the olives do provide a living for a lot of our neighbours. So I am very sorry for those people who, who don't have a crop this year. Um, speaking of olive oil, um, we hope to bring some of our olive oil, our own olive oil, back to Britain with us. And, uh, and so watch out for Christmas presents, friends and family. You may just be getting olive oil this year. But it is extra virgin oil and it's very good for you. So, so that's good. I'm just waiting for David to come home now. He's been out all day. And, um, and then I should be getting the tea on. I've been writing and writing and writing. I've, I've, I've shifted about, I don't know, three or 4,000 words um, in an attempt to get novel number two finished by the time we leave here. It is coming on, folks, and uh, it will be going back to the publisher when I get back to England uh, for a second review. So watch out for that. Who knows, it could be out there in time for Christmas. I know that's a, that's a tall order actually. Um, I think we're, we're looking at early new year really, but um, hopefully I'll be able to put a uh, some sort of order form. And if you'd like to make an order for um, number two, novel number two, then uh, you'll be able to do that. I'd just like to say that um, it's what I do and it may be a good idea for you if, you, if you've been having hard times um, or, or uh, you know, you, you've been in a bit of a rut, um, you think you can't get anywhere. I know a few months back I was in exactly that position and I thought that uh, the world was coming to an end. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd almost lost the will to go on. Um, I had no money, no cash and uh, things were in a pretty bad way. But uh, since we've, we've picked ourselves up and made a very special effort to every day set an intention, set an intention to make this a very successful day and each and every day the same then we have uh, picked ourselves up David and I and um, and it is something you can do as well set the intention early in the day that you're going to have a good day think about what you're going to do with the day think about what you want out of that day right now I know that I want to write at least 2,000 words a day I set the intention early in the morning and I'm afraid everything else has to go by the board. Um, we've had no lunch today. <laughs> I'm sure David's probably stayed out so that he can have some lunch out or something <laughs> because I'm not feeding him. But, uh, you know, if you really, really want to do something, you have to set an intention and do it. OK, so. That's the, my message. That's my message on this little blog. Um, if you want to move out of a rut, move into the future, 
make a successful life for yourself, set the intention and uh, get off your backside and do it really. So there you go, um, I'll talk to you again in a few days time, let you know what the weekend has brought. Meantime, have a really, really good weekend yourselves. Have a nice Friday evening if you're going out. If you're not, have a nice Friday evening in, afternoon or morning, wherever you are in the world. And I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye.